Today we are going to be talking about the Terracotta Soldiers, also known as the Terracotta Warriors. And based on our previous in-class lectures, do you remember what the material terracotta is? So the Terracotta Warriors, or soldiers, are a large pottery army. They are life-size figures made out of clay. The Terracotta Soldiers were discovered in China in 1974. They are located near Lingsheng in the Shanex province, which is in central China. And here's a map to show you where that is. The Terracotta Warriors were found by accident. Farmers were digging a well in the area, and as they were digging, they found pieces of pottery that resembled human heads. The area soon became an archaeological site, and a team was brought in to continue digging the site. The soldiers discovered are dated from around 2,000 years ago. They were actually created during the reign of Qin Shi, the first emperor of China. The terracotta army is a collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi. They were a funerary art that was buried with the emperor in 210 to 209 BCE. Their purpose is to protect the emperor in the afterlife. Around this time, the Chinese believed in the afterlife, just like many of the other cultures we've studied. So let's talk a little bit about this emperor. Who is Qin Shi Hong? Well, he was the first emperor of China and the founder of the Qin Dynasty. The word China actually derives from his name. It's spelled Quin, but it's pronounced Qin, like China, Qin. He ruled from around 221 to 210 BCE, and he's noted for bringing an end to two centuries of political turmoil by conquering all rival states and bringing them together under one dynasty, the Qin Dynasty, that he ruled. He also united the Chinese people under one language and one currency. He is also noted for erecting the first version of the Great Wall of China. He erected this as a protective wall against the nomadic northerners like the Huns. Before the Qin Dynasty, it was said that noblemen and kings would bury their servants alive with them as a sort of human sacrifice. As time went on, this became kind of taboo and it was looked down upon. And the idea of the terracotta army may be an alternative to the human sacrifice. Qin Shi himself was described as superstitious and a paranoid ruler. In times, he was ruthless. He attempted to find an elixir of life, in fact, and he believed in an uncertain afterlife. Thus, he needed a large army to accompany him and protect him in that afterlife. And it is a large army. So about 7,000 warriors were found, 600 horses, and 100 various other figures were found. The soldiers found are larger than life size. They wear different armor and headpieces that suggest they hold different ranks, so they're supposed to mimic a real army. One unbelievable characteristic is that all of them have distinct facial features. By looking at them, they really look like they represent individual people who would have been alive back then. It is believed that it took about 700,000 skilled workers to create all these individual pieces for Qin Shi's army. Along with soldiers, there were also horses, acrobats, and musicians, so he really thought ahead. Some of the figures have well-preserved colors on them. This indicates that they were probably brightly painted at the time. Some of the colors discovered were pinks, blues, yellows, and reds. Scientists even found traces of purple being used. And this was really surprising because purple is a hard color to make. It requires the use of chemicals. So this is believed to be highly advanced for the culture of its time. So let's step back for a second and talk about the material, terracotta. So this is clay. Taking that into consideration, all of these figures would have had to been hollowed and fired. A kiln would have had to been used. They may have had to been broken into pieces as well and then reassembled. Finally, let's talk about the actual complex itself. The complex is very large. Although a lot of it has been excavated, Qin Shi's tomb still remains a mystery to us. After its discovery, less than 1% of Emperor Qin's tomb has been excavated. This is due to fears of damaging his corpse and artifacts within the tomb. There is also concerns about potential safety hazards involving high levels of lead found inside his tomb. Debates still continue over whether the excavation of the tomb should take place at all. And there 